Baby, don't check for me. Taking time out to be and live my life off screen. Taking. Thank you, Beauty Forever Hair, for sponsoring this video. This is their 7x5 Lace Frontal Body Wave with baby hairs and a pre-plucked hairline. They do give you the option to choose a unit with or without baby hairs. Either way, it's really easy to install. This beautiful unit is 24 inches. It comes hand dyed and it also includes an air net along with an adjustable strap for a flawless fit. So let's style it. Now, like I said before, this is the perfect unit for my beginners that don't want to wear the full lace frontals. The closure is really easy to install. Look how full the hair is. So pretty. You can style it however you want. I am going to go with putting some curls in it. The hair does hold a nice curl. The hair is very silky. I really, really like this hair. It's very full. Look how pretty that curl is. You guys probably noticed that I did cut the baby hairs off. I'm not into the baby hairs, and they do give you the option to get the units without the baby hairs. So this is how the hair turned out. I love how the curls look. It's so luscious, soft, and silky, really pretty. I always get so many questions every time I wear my Beauty Forever hair. Everything will be down in the description box below. Hey guys, it's Sharika. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Today is Thursday, November 2nd. Excuse that, okay? I'm a month city girl. No. Um, today is November 2nd. Happy November. This is my favorite month of the year. Usually we would put the Christmas tree up, but because I got so much other stuff going on, Girl, ain't nobody got no time for no Christmas tree right now, okay? <laughs> so we're gonna put that on pause for just a little while. But I'm leaving the post office. Um, I had to mail off a unit that I sold. So thank you to Chantel. Your unit is on its way. Um, so now I'm going to Michael's because I'm looking for a few different things, something that I actually picked up last year from Michaels. I'm gonna see if I can find it in there. And then I really need to go to at home because something else that I'm looking for, I picked up from at home, but this was two years ago. So hopefully they still have it, but I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna go over there today. I might go over there on Friday. We'll see. Um, but hey, y'all. Girl, your girl been on vacation. I've been enjoying my time off. Um, I didn't vlog. I, I did some things. I just really had a good time just enjoying myself, doing what I do. Um, I have been on my Instagram. If you guys don't follow me, follow me at I am Sharika B. Also on my TikTok, I am Sharika B underscore, and I also did some shorts 
while I was on vacation. I'm actually, technically, I'm still on vacation, but I said, well, let me just go ahead and get the vlog started because I do want to be able to get some content out to you guys on Tuesday, which is when I'll be posting. So that'll be around November 7th because I have obligations and I have to make some content in order to get those sponsored videos out. So another busy month. I have a few hair reviews. Um, I'm pretty sure the Timu video will be out this month. Um, I have a full month of hair reviews. I got some really pretty units. Y'all don't forget to tap in in the description box and save yourself some money. Most of the time, I always get a discount for you guys. I always try to get a discount for you guys, especially like it's the holidays. Um, so y'all don't forget to tap in and save yourself some money. But I'll see you guys at Michael's. All right, y'all. So we are pulling up to Michael's. Home Goods is right next door. Um, so we're going to go in Michael's first and see if I can find some pretty greenery. And then we're going to go in Home Goods to see what they have. And I'm going to take my girls with me. So let's go. Michael's right here. Home Goods right there. I know that I said I wanted to put the Christmas stuff on hold, but they have a lot of cute things. Forgot to tell y'all, it is so cold outside today. It was 44 degrees this morning. It's so cold right now. I think it's like 60. But it feels so good out here. Oh my gosh. It is very nippy. Like you need a long sleeve for sure. But it's nice and sunny. Y'all know I love, love this weather. All right, I could have just walked right next door. But just in case I find something that I want. Oh, oh. Just in case I find something that I want, I'm going to go ahead and move the car over. But yes, y'all, it's four. What, what is this? Well, it says 59 right now, but it was definitely like 44 degrees this morning. We're going to park right in my spot watch. And did. It's all good. Let me see if I could go up one. what's today today is thursday i got a few amazon packages on the way that i'm gonna show you guys i'm so excited for so and i think thursday is when home goods get their shipments in i think i'm not 100 percent sure but i know it's either Wednesday or Thursday that they get their shipments in. So, and it's nice and early. It is 9.54. So let's go inside Home Goods. I'm not washing my 
this one through these. Dang it. How old are you? I'm going to show y'all a couple of options that I like. I like this one. I think that's cute. This one is so cute. I like this one. I don't like this part. It's kind of cute. Let's see something. It's too shiny. Get away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is 
where I wanna be Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough Too caught up in your love Handcrafted ice cream And they also do coffee and wine And then around this corner right here Is Is this it? Okay Y'all excuse that little thing Oh, they're gonna have a talk talking taco place over here um ugh, let me take this is can y'all see it this is the new furniture spot right here my camera is tripping okay let's go inside hi thank you i'm just looking around this is my first time in here Okay, thank you. This is something like I did my my patio. <laughs> That's a cute mirror. Ooh, now this is pretty. It has some cute pieces in there. It's not really my style. I don't really like that style. So, we have another, well, we have a couple of places like that in Jacksonville that has kind of like, like, I don't really know how to explain it, but they have like the leathers with the metals and the kind of like the old school way but they kind of make it a little modern and this place is packed they also have this amara med spa over here well, if you want to get your botox if you want to oh goodness i'm gonna have to turn around to park All right, y'all. Oh, God. My key is not in here. Yes, it is. All right, y'all. I had a turkey Swiss croissant. I only ate half of it. It was all right. The coffee, it was okay. I like my RH latte better. But it was all right. It was only two people in there. The two girls, they were actually together. Just getting some work done is what it looked like. Um, but it was cool. Y'all know I'm not a big, like, sweets girl I'm not like a big ice cream girl I will have it like I don't hate it but I don't like go to places to have ice cream like I, that's not really my vibe unless I'm with somebody that want ice cream like Kalila or my son then I'll grab some ice cream but uh, I'm trying to think if I want to go to Pottery Barn y'all know we don't have CB2 Crate and Barrel we don't have any of those places which really sucks oh, let me turn right here. which really sucks so if I wanted some stuff from there I would have to like go online which I barely go on their website unless I'm looking for like some pretty glassware or something like that which I'm not buying any more of I got a, rid of a lot of glassware because it's just like girl why do you need all this <laughs> so I kept like my faves because I still like to host I still like to make my pretty drinks and when I have my guests over I still want to be able to provide the experience we're gonna just should I go in Pottery Barn the last 
last time they didn't really have anything everybody got so much Christmas stuff out right now let me look in the window see if I can find it they got Christmas stuff out too we're in the town center now y'all so if I decide to stop somewhere, then I will pick you guys back up. If not, then I'll just see you guys. I got a few packages, but I'm gonna do an unboxing for TikTok and probably Instagram. You guys can see the description. I'm very excited about this. So I'm gonna set up my phone for a TikTok really quick and I'll let y'all watch the unboxing. So, oh, okay, so. You guys know that I've been wanting the Brubble coffee maker for quite some time. I, I would walk by it in Target and just slob over it, okay? And then I started seeing it in Home Goods. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I want this thing so bad. The only re well, there's two reasons why I hesitated on buying it is because, for one, Girl, she was pricey, okay? <laughs> she was pricey. That was the first reason. And the second reason is because every time I would watch a review on TikTok, they said it was hard to use. So you would have some people that I guess they were like baristas, okay? They knew exactly what to do and they would, you know, they don't really talk you through it, but... I did find a few videos, but like some people that I watch on YouTube just was saying they didn't really know how to make the coffee properly. Like they wasn't really feeling the way their coffee was tasting, but they were new to that type of coffee machine. So once I moved, I'm like, I want the coffee machine. And like I done made up my mind, I want it. So then the other day, I went to home goods and I couldn't find it like I couldn't find it but I had been on the hunt for a nice looking coffee machine that was pretty easy but it was kind of upscale you know I won the vibes and so I, I had my eye on this other one that was way more expensive than that one so I went in home goods couldn't find it I saw like the brittle blender um, the Brivel, uh, some, something else. I can't remember what it was. I think it was like a juicer or something like that, which was really nice. That's not what I was looking for. 
So I'm like, man, I can't find it. So I'm like, well, I'm not gonna go because they're they were cheaper at Home Goods. So I'm like, just buy maybe like fifty dollars or something like that. So I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna ride all around town. Like if it's not meant for me to have it, then it's not meant for me to have it. And I'm gonna listen to this sign. So I said, okay, I'm gonna try one other place. I'm gonna try Target. I went in Target. It wasn't in there. So I'm like, okay, that's it. I'm not going to any more Home Goods, any more Targets. I'm not gonna order it online. I'm not gonna do nothing. So I'm just on Amazon minding my own good business and the one that I saw, I fell in love with it. So I'm like, oh my gosh, this thing is gorgeous. So hopefully, because I, I like the way that it looks, I do. It comes in two different colors. It comes in the silver, like the stainless steel, okay? Not just like a gray, a stainless steel. Okay, stainless steel. I have stainless steel over here already. All right, so it comes in a stainless steel, a beautiful stainless steel, or a stainless steel and black. So y'all know that black is my color. So I got the stainless steel and black. So hopefully I like the way that it sits on my counter. If it's too big and bulky, then I don't know if I'm going to really feel the vibe. But that's what I went with. So I'm going to take it out of the box. I'll show y'all because I'm going to do an unboxing. Like, you know, I'm going to do an unboxing for TikTok. So let me just show y'all. Are y'all ready? And I would just say this is my early birthday present to myself. Okay? Here she is. Let me hold it up. But this is not, let me see. Cause I know, yeah, it says black truffle. Okay. So this is the stainless steel one that I saw at first. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that thing is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. This one also takes the pods because y'all know I had like three Nespresso machines. I had, I started off with like the little, well, yeah. I started off with the little small one. I gave that to Ryan. And then I got the regular, you know, like the Nespresso machine that's just like half like this. It don't have this part, it's just half like this. I had the tan one and then I saw the matte black and I'm like, I have to get the matte black cause it just looks so good. And then I just kept that one in my garage because then I, fell in love with the other coffee maker where you use the coffee beans. But like I said, this one has the pods, which I kind of miss buying the Nespresso pods anyway. So this is it. She is a beauty. Now I'm gonna do an unboxing. Like I said, I got the stainless steel and black. So it'll have, I think it has like, this part down here is black. And maybe the top two, I can't remember, but this part right here is the same color. She is gorgeous, okay? It froths the milk for you, it has that side. Um, it's just, it's pretty. It also comes with 12 pods. So, we're excited. It doesn't come with the accessories, like this stuff here is not included. So, I'm going to do and unboxing really quick. I was gonna let y'all watch me do the unboxing, but I don't wanna have to worry about it if you guys are going in and out of focus. So I'll show you guys once the unboxing is done. <laughs> Here she is. <laughs> this is fire, okay? Look at this. Ah, oh, this is fire. Right now I'm doing the cleaning process you know you have to just run water through the machine so that's what I'm doing right now letting it clean before I make my first cup but oh, she is so gorgeous it fits perfect um, it is like a little bulkier but girl this thing is nasty look at this what and if you get like the all Silver chef's kiss. 
But I like the black detail because it just goes with my vibe that I got going on in the kitchen. But baby. And I love that I can use my pods again because I kind of miss using my pods. But like I said, I had an espresso machine, but it was just in my garage. And I knew I wanted to get something new, so I went ahead and sent the other one to my parents' house. And they've been using it, but oh, I am in love. I can't wait to make my first cup. Now, she's done. She's done. I have finished my reel, so I'm going to make my first cup. I'm going to hide the cord and stuff like that. Like, y'all know it's going to look good. But, oh my gosh. I feel like a barista. <laughs> Tell me this is not the prettiest coffee machine you've ever seen. Oh my god. Look at, look at her. She's just sitting there like, what about me? <laughs> Girl. We gonna sell you. Girl, look. <laughs> girl, look at the side profile, girl. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> she is so cute. Now, I'm gonna show you guys what else came. So this is the car tripod that I told you guys about. You hang it from, is this upside down? No, it's not. Okay, so this is how it looks. All right, so you hang it from your mirror and like the rear view mirror and then you put your phone here. So it looks something like this like that so I like that easy to hide and zoom so we like that and I got the black of course I'll link this in the description box below but like I said this one is for your phone so you can see like all the different ways if you needed to pull it to the side a little bit either side um, if you wanted to do it vertical you could do it however you want to do it so love that if I wanted to do like a cute little TikTok or YouTube. So we love that. I saw a girl on TikTok with that. And I don't know what this is. I bought another coffee table book, which I said I wasn't gonna buy any more coffee table books because I have a very, very large coffee table book collection like I have a bunch of them and there's two books that I really want one I found on Amazon yesterday I'm not gonna say which one it is but one I found on Amazon yesterday she's a little pricey like a hundred and fifty dollar pricey I've never spent that much on a coffee table book I think the most I've paid is like eighty dollars and that was like the Tom Ford book um and maybe the Louis Vuitton book too and the add 100 book too but um yeah never 150 <laughs> so and then the other one i know that one is gonna be really expensive and if i ever see it at home list i'm paying the money because i really really want it um let me wipe i don't want it to get wet even though it does have plastic on it but I saw this one yesterday when I was looking for the book that, that's $150. And this one popped up and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. And then it even showed the pages, which sometimes they don't do that. They don't show you like what the inside of the book looks like. But on Amazon, they showed the inside and I'm like, this is freaking gorgeous. It has like the linen cover. So pretty. And wait till y'all see the inside. So it's called Soft Minimal. And y'all, look at this. Oh my God. This book is gorgeous. Like the pages in this book. Look at this. Uh-oh, y'all shaking a little bit. Uh, 
Lay y'all way down. Let me take y'all off. Look at this. It's just like so much inspiration in this book. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need this book. I just love it. <sighs> so pretty. Oh, and look. How funny. Look, y'all. This is something like the seasonings that I have. And I've never looked inside this book before. They show a few pictures. But this is something like the seasonings. Let me see what that says. I can't tell. This looks like some type of skincare products. But y'all see like the similarities. This is my seasoning. I love how big these are. It's so pretty. But yes. Oh, I just love the natural woods. This book is. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. Ooh. Look at that. Love. Oh, look at this stool. That is so cute. Light and shadow. Now this section is going to be a vibe watch. Oh my gosh. So pretty. It's nothing like good lighting. Look at that. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys now what I picked up. Let me open the blinds on this side. Give me a little bit of lighting because we have to switch out the light bulb in here. So but let me show you guys what I picked up, which is not much. Um, oh, really quick. Really quick. So, somebody just hit me up on Instagram that lives here in Jacksonville. She does balloons. Like, y'all know, like, the real pretty fancy balloons. She was like, have you been to the home since on San Jose yet? So, I'm like, girl, no. I ain't know nothing about it. So, girl, we're going there tomorrow, okay? Bright and early. I'm going to look it up to see what time they open. Um, a lot of girls that I watch, well, not a lot, but some of the girls that I watch that lives in the UK, they have home since there. And they probably have home since in other places too, but I never pay attention to it. But it's like a home goods. But the ones that I've seen here on YouTube are a lot bigger um so i'm excited to see it okay i'm going in there tomorrow bright and early okay so if y'all in jacksonville and y'all into the home decor check them out girl but we going in the morning i'm gonna take y'all with it'll be just like we going but really i'm going but it'll be like both of us going <laughs> okay so i got this pillow i really like the texture on it i hope you guys can see it so this is the texture on the pillow i really like it it has a little bit of um it looks like silver thread silver threading which gives it like a bit of a shine um but i don't mind it um i try to stay away from like shiny glittery things because it kind of gives off that glam decor and that's not my vibe at all so um, but this, I don't really mind it. So, um, I want to bring these pillows in here. So we're going to kind of play around with it a little bit to see if I like it. But I want to do a few different pillows on this couch. So, like I said, we will see how the vibe is because I don't really know exactly what I want to do to this room but I know that I wanted the TV up 
because I'll be spending most of my time in here when I'm working um, and just hanging out. So yeah, um, so I haven't really decided what vibe. I was gonna just do it the exact same way that I had it in the last place, but then I was like, no, I don't wanna do that. I need, I need something different. So I ended up putting the mirror in the closet, which it looks really cute. Um, and then the plant that I have, which I love, I don't know where I'm going to use it, but I'll use it somewhere else. <laughs> and then I found this one. This is like one of the smaller lumbar pillows. It's a Calvin Klein pillow. And it didn't have a tag on it, but she only charged me $19.99 because that's how much that pillow was. It's a little small, but we're going to see how I feel about it if I want to take it back or not, but I do like the texture and the color on it. Um, let me take this safety pan off because this will stick me and I'm going to be mad. And I'm going to scream out loud. Okay, so this is how this would look. And y'all see this one also has texture. This is like a cream color. So even if I don't keep the brown one, I most likely will still keep this one because I love the lumbar pillows. It's hard for me to find ones that I like in person. So I said when I come across some that I like, I'm going to keep. I like the texture on this one. It's similar to that one, the texture, the pattern that's on the pillow, but it's just one solid color. So even if I don't keep that one, which I don't know if I will or not, it just depends. If I can find something larger, which I'm sure that I will, um, to go on the side of that one, then I will. Um, but as far as it being like the main pillow, it's too, it's too small for uh, what I'm going for. But it could be in the mix. You know what I'm saying? So... I might keep it, but I'm definitely keeping this one because first of all, she only charged me $19.99 and I know this pillow is more than $19.99. So I'm going to keep it because I love a good lumbar pillow and we're going to keep that. And then I can't decide on what I wanted for the storage organizers for the bathroom sink, but I got this one for our bathroom. Um... So it's by Halston Home, which I've never heard of. It was $12.99, but I saw one on Pinterest. It was like a little set, and I really, really liked it. I'm not going to take this off because I want to just make sure I like the way it looked on the sink. But um, it was this little set that I've been like stalking on Pinterest. And I actually found it. I just put the picture in the Google search. And I found it, but girl, she was a little pricey. So I'm like, okay, well, I can probably find this somewhere. So every time I go in to Home Goods, I'll look for something similar. But I haven't really been able to find one. Now, I saw something today, but then when I saw it in person, I'm like, uh, I don't really like it like that. I need to look at that picture again. But this kind of reminds me of it, but it wasn't like a one piece like this. It was you know, several different pieces like the dish soap, the, the soap dispenser, the toothbrush part, but it was really cute. So, um, this one reminded me of it, but this is how it looks up close. And then it was a few different ones that I really liked while I was in Home Goods. Y'all excuse how my hair flipped up like this is because it was wet and then it's just like, falling down on my neck so it flipped up like this girl i did not curl this like this i'm not trying to be styling and profiling it just happened okay it just happened um but i'm gonna see if i like the way that this looks just have like some toothpaste um toothbrushes and i don't know what else but we'll see if i like the way it looks and then i it was a lot of different ones like that little marble soap dish i thought that was like absolutely gorgeous it was so pretty but i can't like what i'm putting like i ain't trying to have like a bar of soap just sitting on the counter even though i have a christian dior soap bar which smells amazing it's never been open i thought about putting that in like a giveaway 
box whenever I do my next giveaway. I thought about it because I really like it. I have a perfume too. Just having that beautiful soap dish. Soap get wet and then you have all these suds and water all over it. That's not the vibe. That's something that you just don't touch. Okay, it's there to look at. Don't touch it. So we ain't gonna do that. <laughs> but it's really pretty. You can even kind of use that as like a little jewelry dish too. But it was really cute. I really, really liked it a lot. That's why I kept picking it up. I really like it. But hopefully I feel okay with this one. Um, right now it's not giving me... It's, I'm not excited. I'm not excited about this. So we'll see. We'll see. And I think that's, um, and then I just bought um, a shower liner. This is for my son's bathroom. So I grabbed this. And then a few more washcloths. Um, what is this? Um, I got the Rachel Roy. And then the Tahari. And I just, I wanted to get the same, it doesn't really matter because they're both white, but I did want to get the same brand, but they only had like one of each. So I just grabbed both of them, different brand. Let me show y'all how the pillows look on the couch. Let me just move this. And we're, this is not 100%. And like I said, I'm not too excited about this. I want something prettier than this. But we're going to see how I feel about it. And with the things that's around it that can, you know, really make it a vibe. So we'll, we'll see. Well, I'll see. I'll figure it out and let y'all know. All right, I'm just putting this stuff on the floor. And I, I mean, it's possible that I will style the two of these together, but I need something else to kind of tie in this cream pillow. And y'all, y'all get the vibe. <laughs> but I'm just gonna show y'all how this brown pillow looks. Um, I will definitely have to have another pillow that's bigger because just having this, like I said, that one is, is she's small. <laughs> okay, she's a baby. Okay. Hopefully y'all can see like the texture. It's a pretty pillow. So that's that one. And then this one. Did y'all see how I buckled in the middle? I mean, I fix all of that. Y'all already know how I do warm tones in here because that's just what I like. But I didn't want the same tones as up front. And then I have this cream pillow. But I want something else. I want this. This is cute together. This one. This one with this. This is so cute. How cute is that? This one. Oh, let's move this one. How cute. That is really cute. Like that is really cute. I don't want that much white, but I'm just showing y'all like how it looks together. Let me put another one up here. Y'all know I got pillows for days. been liking like when I look at um, decor on Pinterest and the style that I like like the pillows they still have the chop but then they're kind of like just leaning back a little bit and I like the way that that looks see how I have it leaning back like that I like the way that that looks on film like a picture or a video well I haven't seen a video but I like how it looks on a picture. But when I do it in person, I don't like it. Like, I don't like the way that it, it looks. I prefer mine to just sit up 
And I got this from my mom because if you guys have been following me for a while, I've been doing this forever. Before it became like popular here on YouTube, I always did my pillows like this because my mom did her pillows like this. So it just was something that I always thought was really pretty. So I've been doing it forever. But I like how it leans back. Let me see. See, but then like I said, when I do it in person, it kind of bothers me. <laughs> but I like this little white one right here. I'm definitely going to keep this. The other one I'm not too sure about. Just because I'm thinking that I want something else. I was thinking about trying some grays, but I'm not too sure. Gray just looks so cold to me. It makes the room look cold to me. But um, of course I wouldn't do that. That's too much white. So of course I wouldn't do it like this. I just wanted to show y'all how it looks against another pillow. But yeah, for sure, this baby here is staying. And I'm not too sure about the brown one. So, you're just going to be a bad by yourself, girl. <laughs> I would never do that. <laughs> My chairs are here. <laughs> about this is it's very light. to go side by side. <laughs> How they be doing it? That thing look good, baby. What? Okay, let me unbox the other one. Love this. <laughs> Cheers. Good morning, y'all. Today is Friday. And I just love home goods. I took the brown pillow back. I kept the little cream lumbar pillow, which I, which I told you guys that I was gonna do that. And then the little bathroom caddy, I took that back because it just, it wasn't doing it for me. The only reason why I'm looking for one is because my husband is into that. If it was up to me, we wouldn't have one. But because I know he likes the convenience of those, I'm gonna look for one, but I wanted to look nice, of course. And that one, it was okay, but it just didn't look good in our bathroom. So, um, I did see another one that I think I would like, but I said, I'll just take my time. I'm, I'm in no rush. So, I'm gonna just shop around a little bit more and see what I can find. But like I told y'all yesterday, a girl here in Jacksonville hit me up and told me that there's a home sense that they just opened up on San Jose. So I am on my way. They opened at 9.30. It's 10.13. So it's still pretty early. I'm excited to see what they have. I see home sense a lot from my UK girlies that I watch. Um, but I've never been in one. It's just like home goods. The ones that I've seen, they're just bigger. So we'll see 
what the Jacksonville vibes are giving. So of course I'm gonna take y'all there with me. Um, I have a few errands that I have to run today. Um, I wanna go to Best Buy. I have to go to the post office. I'm going to home since now. My son has a game tonight, which the ninth graders, they're not playing, but we still go. Um, so we're doing that. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Y'all make sure that y'all follow me on my other socials. Instagram, I am Sharika B. And TikTok, I am Sharika B underscore. I haven't really been on Lemon 8 as much. Um, I was kind of getting a little bored with it. And it's just a lot to try to juggle. So I haven't been on there as much as I used to when it first came out. I was really feeling the vibe, but I just found myself always going back to Pinterest. Um, just because I feel like Pinterest is a more established app. And I don't I haven't been on Lemon 8 in a while, so I really can't tell you like how much it's grown as far as like you know typing something in and it popping up for you. Um but it is like a Pinterest. But I haven't been on it in a while. If you guys have not seen me posting, that's why, girl, because I just can't keep up with everything. So, we're headed to... I know y'all shaking like a stripper. I am so sorry. Y'all, the parking lot is flooded. <laughs> it is packed. And I know all them people that in in here. I know it. I cannot find a parking spot. I have to park way down here. I never come in this area. Not like I used to. Oh my gosh. Jeez. I mean, it is packed. Hopefully I can find a parking spot a little closer. Is that one right there? No. Ugh. Yeah. All right, we made it to Home Sense. She was cute. It's basically just like I see on the videos with the girls from the UK. I want to say the ones from, um, I want to say that the one in the UK that I've seen sell clothes to, I think. Don't quote me, but I think. But this one doesn't. It's basically like a huge home goods, basically. And I couldn't really get too much vlogging done because I wanted to, you know, soak it all in and make sure I didn't miss anything. But I did find a cute little table. Um, and if it doesn't work out for the space that I want to put it in, I can return it at a home goods. So, Kiki, let's 
a Japanese sushi bar that they're gonna open soon. Hot pot and barbecue sushi bar. Oh, that's cute. That should be cute. I'm so hungry. I made that chili yesterday. So I'm gonna go home and grab me something to eat. I have to go home because I have to let Kalula in. So yeah, but, oh, they got a world market over here too. Dang, I should've went in the world market, see what they have. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn around and go in world market and see what they got in there. Cause I'm looking for a little something, something. And, Fresh, I'm talking about fresh market. What? Okay, let me make sure it's not fresh market because I never got fresh market. Yeah, I'm gonna turn around and go in world market. I used to be in this area all the time because my sister lived over here. Well, she still lived in this area. She lived deep over here now, though. Trader Joe's is across the street. Do I need anything from Trader Joe's? No, I do need me some more of those chips from Whole Foods. Those little Cheetos. Them things. No, they good. See if I got any car snacks. Because I'm hungry. It's 11.01. Okay. Y'all know I keep car snacks on deck. Like I got babies. But I got some Cheez-Its. Girl, everybody was eating my Cheetos. I mean, it is for whoever get in the car and they're hungry. But... Them Cheetos went fast. Okay, where is where are Michael's? Hmm. I see Michael's. I see Bath and Body Works. Oh, it's right next to Bath and Body Works. I didn't know if they had a Bath and Body Works over here. What else over here? They got Panera. Panera. No, they got some good tuna. That tuna sandwich. That's my favorite. They got First Watch. I've never been there. But that's just because I'm not a breakfast person like that. I don't hate breakfast, but I'm just not like... It's not my first choice. Because I don't like eggs. But I do like a good pancake. Okay. All right, we're pulling into World Market. Thank you, girl. Y'all got a sweet too. I got you. You gotta keep them snacks on that girl because you just never know. You might be stuck in traffic. Your stomach start growling. And you don't want to be embarrassed. You better get you some car snacks. Now this is just meant to have a few. But I only got a couple left. All right. Where's my phone? Oh, I'm vlogging them. See, that's what happens when you're hungry. 